So lately I've been doing videos where I take you guys along with me and I get a bunch of used PC parts. Well today's video is a bit different because I didn't take you guys along. Last night I went to pick up just a singular PC and I ended up spending $840. So let's go over all the parts that I got. The reason I didn't record? Because I just thought I was getting one PC. But like I always say, always ask if they have more parts. I was getting one PC and then yeah I ended up just buying all the stuff the guy had. The first deals, well, not really the first deals, but the first parts I'm talking to you guys about are right here. You can see, bam. So I got two, two in my hands, but I actually got three of these motherboard combos. They all have i7 3770Ks and 16 gigs of RAM. The motherboards, and they're not the best. They definitely can't support the i7 3770K. Like it can run it obviously, but you're not gonna be, be able to overclock the CPU on these motherboards. But hey, you know, these are perfect for budget builds. And I got these for around like $60 each, I think. I'll have the exact prices that I got everything for up on the screen. So two of the three motherboards in these motherboard CPU combo deals I got here were these Foxconn motherboards. I've heard of Foxconn, but I never knew they made motherboards. So um, yeah, I don't know. Everything works though, so, so that's a plus, right? And then the last of the third motherboards is this Gigabyte one. And you know, everyone's heard of Gigabyte. But yeah, they're pretty decent motherboards. They all have USB 3.0 headers on them, so I won't have to use any USB 2 to USB 3 adapters, so that's awesome. They're all ready for RGB cases and GPUs. Just like those GPUs right over there in the corner. If you wanna see where I got all those GPUs, then watch the video up on the screen right now. But watch it after this one, it'll be linked down below. Okay, so these motherboard combos are cool and all, but I bet you guys wanna see where I spent majority of the $840. So let's dive into the full PCs that I bought. Let's get right into the PCs. This first one is the one that I was originally going to pick up. I'm very thankful for this one just because it helped me strike gold and get all these other deals. First off, this PC came with an included Wi-Fi card with massive antennas. Opening up the PC, the power supply is a bit scary, so I'll definitely be swapping that out when I flip this PC. Powering on the computer, we can see the full specs. For the CPU, it's rocking an i7-4790 with 16 gigs of DDR3, and it's two sticks of 8 gigs clocked at 1600 megahertz. All of that is sitting on a pretty basic ASUS H81 motherboard with only two DIMM slots. Like I said, the power supply is definitely a bit sketch. It's a 550 watt from a brand I've never heard of. Overall, the system is awesome. It has a 240 gigabyte SSD and a one terabyte hard drive. The best part is obviously the GPU. It's rocking WinForce GTX 960 and it's the four gigabyte version. Once I case swap this system and swap the power supply, this will be an awesome little flip. Stay tuned till the end for the transformation. The second PC is pretty similar to the first computer, other than the CPU and the power supply. I mean, at least it's a brand I've heard of. Antec does make some pretty decent power supplies, and the power supply has an 80 plus rating. This computer is running the same 3770K CPU with 16 gigs of RAM and motherboard like the first three motherboard combos in the beginning of the video. It also has the same Gigabyte WinForce GTX 960, also running a Kingston 240GB SSD and one terabyte hard drive. So those first two PCs that I just showed you guys were the best PCs out of the bunch that I bought from the guy. But in my opinion, they're freaking beast for how much I paid for them. I mean, they got 964 gigabyte versions. One has a fourth gen i7, the other has a third gen i7, and they both got 16 gigs of RAM. But these last two PCs here, they're definitely more on the budget side. But anyways, let's just power this one up and take a look at the specs. Damn, that thing's loud as hell. <laughs> Jeez. But yeah, as you can see, I mean, of course they all work, but I'm just showing you guys here. So this one still works, but yeah, let's go over these specs. I think he sold me a PS4. I mean, this thing sounds like it's about to take off. This third PC is rocking a fourth of Gen i5. It is an i5 4460 with eight gigs of RAM. And of course the power supply is sketchy, but it should be perfectly fine since it has a low power GPU. I'll talk about that in a second. It has lower specs, but it is still rocking a 240 gigabyte SSD and a one terabyte hard drive. As I said earlier, the GPU is low powered. It doesn't even require any PCIe power from the power supply. It is the EVGA GTX 750. Sadly, it is only the one gigabyte version, but this PC will still be an awesome little budget banger. The last and final PC is definitely the most budget PC of them all. It has a tiny little GPU. 
I had to use a DVI to HDMI adapter just to power it on. Guess the specs of this one down below. Starting us off, it is rocking the same 240GB SSD as all the others, but sadly a small 300GB hard drive. It is rocking the same quad core i5 being the i5 4460 and 8GB of RAM, but the GPU is quite different. Like I said, it's a tiny little GPU, it is the GTX 650 Ti. This GPU is pretty dated, but just like the other one, this PC will make an awesome little budget banger. So, I said stay till the end for the transformation and the PC is done. It looks 10 times better in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts on it down below. The case I went with was a Montec Fighter 500 case. I bought it on sale around 50 bucks on Newegg. It'll also be linked down below. I wanted to love this case, but uh, I hate it. The front fan was making a ticking noise, but I fixed that with a little bang. Then I noticed the top fan just wasn't working at all. It lights up, obviously, but it just doesn't spin, and when you spin it, it also makes a ticking sound. So buy this case at your own risk. The total cost for this build was around $307.29 for those of you that were wondering. Whew. So as you guys know, I flip all of my PCs. I mean, that's how I make my money. It's my full-time job. So I am gonna be flipping this one. I'm gonna be listing it at $525. If it sells, which it will because I'm not gonna go lower than 525. That'll be around 200 profit. The pictures I'm gonna be using are gonna be up on the screen right now. Let me know what you think of them. I think the pictures, they turned out pretty clean. I mean, the build, it's, it's pretty sexy. I mean, I was kind of mad about the top fan that is a uh, completely clunked out. This fan right here. It, it's, it. it's broken. <laughs> so I was pretty upset about that, but the build still turned out pretty clean. Editor Elijah here, editing the video as we speak. It is almost done. But that PC I was talking to you guys about, it sold the same day I listed it. I was recording December 9th, it is December 10th. I listed the PC on December 9th, it sold December 9th. <laughs> like five minutes later, we got 450 cash for it. Like I said, the profit was around $230. Anyways, let me know down in the comments which deal was your favorite out of like all the parts I bought, like which parts are your favorite, you know? Smash like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you loved it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!